Robert Smalls was born a slave in a cabin in Beaufort, South Carolina on April 5th, 1839. At 17, he married Hannah Jones, an enslaved housemaid, on Christmas Eve of 1856. She had two daughters at the time. Their first child together, Elizabeth Lydia, was born in February of 1858. Their son, Robert Jr., was born three years later. He died at age two. The Civil War began in April of 1861 with the Battle of Fort Sumter. Later that year, in the fall, Smalls was assigned to steer the CSS Planter, a Confederate military transport. At one point, it carried four large guns, 200 pounds of ammunition, and 20 cords of firewood. On the evening of May 12th, while the planter was docked and its three white officers spent the night ashore, Smalls and seven of the slave crewmen made their planned escape to the Union blockade. Smalls dressed as the captain and sailed the planter past the southern wharf. He would stop at the next wharf to pick up his wife and child and the crew's families. Copying the captain's manners and signals, Smalls guided the planter past the five Confederate harbor forts without incident. Passing Fort Sumter at 4.30 in the morning, he headed straight for the Union Navy fleet, flying a white bedsheet as a surrender flag. When Union Captain John Frederick Nichols boarded the planter, Smalls surrendered it to him and asked for a United States flag to display. At 23, Smalls became known as a hero in the North. Congress awarded prize money for the planter to Smalls and his crew. Thanks to the intelligence Smalls had regarding Charleston's defenses, the Union took Coles Island on May 20th without a fight. They would hold on to it as base of operations for the rest of the war. While serving in the Union Navy, Small successfully persuaded President Lincoln and Secretary of War Edwin Stanton to permit black men to fight for the Union. Smalls was present for 17 major battles and engagements in the Civil War, eventually becoming a Union captain, piloting the very ship he stole, the Planter. Robert Smalls would go on to become a part of the South Carolina State Legislature and the United States House of Representatives during the Reconstruction Era. To this day, a monument and statue are dedicated to the memory of Robert Smalls, where he is interred at the Tabernacle Baptist Church in his hometown of Beaufort, South Carolina. This was Robert Smalls. <laughs>